Justin Williams of Legion of LA has been suspended again by USA Cycling and it's hard to find information about it so I wanted to put it all in one place and talk through my thoughts on it. I want to start up top by saying I think Legion of LA does get a lot of hate that is not deserved. I think they have a lot of great riders. I think they were one of the first teams to really use social media effectively and bring new people into the sport. I think by making it more accessible in that way they've done a ton for diversity and inclusion which I think is inherently positive. For all of that stuff, I give them kudos. But this specific incident. So I say suspended again because last year after Salt Lake, Justin got suspended for an altercation he got into with Michael Hernandez, who was on Best Buddies Cycling at the time. Hernandez had a dispute with Justin's brother, Corey, about one of the corners on the last lap. Justin intervened on Corey's behalf. It turned into a physical altercation and the whole thing was caught on camera and it was on every website in the cycling media. So a couple of weeks ago, this GCN article came out. I was I was actually already aware of this incident. Over on the American Peloton show, Ben and I had been watching the race at Littleton, watching it back and analyzing it, and we noticed that Legion just disappeared in the last few laps. And we had speculated maybe there was a crash off camera that we hadn't seen, which was the case. But after that show, some people reached out and showed us the video that I'm about to show you guys, which shows what actually happened. Over on the Criterium Nation Instagram page, this is the video of what happened. I've seen a couple of angles of this. This is stitched together, I believe, by track stand memes, but I wanted to go through this and break it down. Basically what happens here is that Thomas Gibbons is fighting for position in the last lap. And when I say fighting, he's moving around. He's trying to get in and amongst the Legion train, beside the Legion train, as they are setting up the last few laps. So getting into it here, this is the last few laps. Legion is starting to set up the train. This in orange right here is Thomas Gibbons from Automatic Racing. He's been one of the best sprinters. Uh, hasn't had a lot of luck this year, but in 2019 was probably toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody on Legion. Definitely got some big wins and a guy who it's not surprising to see him up here in the top five, top 10 wheels on the last lap of a race. Here's Gibbons in the orange, and I believe that is Corey Williams from Legion on the right of him, but these white jerseys with the black armband are Legion of LA. So you can see Tom's trying to ride up alongside and amongst the Legion train here a little bit. And I believe this is Justin Williams coming into frame. Justin kind of takes a hot line on the inside of this corner and gets himself in front of Gibbons and just moves him over toward the curb. In front of Gibbons, kind of cuts him off. Little bit of a shake there. So what Justin was trying to do was get himself in front of Gibbons, start moving him over, and Gibbons would relent, break, and move back behind him. Gibbons didn't do that. This corner is pretty wide on the outside, so Gibbons starts to look for space and pedal again. He is going to try to ride alongside and maybe even around Justin on the longer line here. When Justin sees what's going on, he put, positions himself back in front of Tom with his bars just slightly in front of Tom and just swerves all the way to the curb. What Justin is trying to do is force Tom toward the curb. When he breaks, he will relent and be behind Justin and Corey is up the road somewhere free of this person that's trying to get on his wheel or get around him. Goes to a little slow-mo here. You can see maybe even before they hit the curb, Justin's rear wheel takes out Tom's front wheel or maybe they clip bars or something, but Tom starts to go down and it looks like the falling Tom actually takes out Justin here as well, but they both go down. Justin goes down a couple seconds later. It could be that Justin just T-bones the curb. Basically, Justin tries to big dog Tom by getting barely in front of him, moving him over to the curb. Tom does not relent and they both crash out. And apparently after this, Corey drops out of the race, goes back and is like breaking up Gibbons and Williams who are yelling at each other. Spectators are yelling at them. There was allegedly some bad language and some abuse. I haven't heard any of that, not in the clip that I listened to. Gibbons was fined $250 for language. So I guess some, there must be proof of that somewhere. Justin, however, has received a suspension that goes from April 5th to June 4th of next year. So two month suspension and a fine on top top of that. Regardless of how you feel about Legion, regardless of all of the other drama, regardless of what anyone else has done to you within the race, you cannot just crash someone out. In cycling, there is a mutually assured destruction where at any point in a race, if you want to take someone else out, you can. You can get your back wheel in line with their front wheel, flick it, and they're down. You could get right in front of them and grab the brakes and they're going down. 
if this kind of riding goes unchecked, we just can't have a sport. I feel like in every race, everyone feels aggrieved at some point about something another rider has done, whether they've taken a wheel from them, taken an inside line on them, uh, chased down a teammate you didn't want them to chase down, whatever it is, everyone gets heated in the race. And the solve for that cannot be riding someone into the curb ever. So yeah, I thought it was important to talk through this. Let me know what you guys think about the suspension. Is it too light? Is it too heavy? It looks like we are going to see Justin racing at the first of his own races, the CRIT race in Florida. I thought maybe the suspension would go into effect and prevent him from doing that race, but it sounds like they are postponing it until the bulk of the crit season next year, 2024. Uh, what do you think about that aspect of it? Let me know.